Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Hey Dave video. And in this video, we're going to be exploring the valley. We're going to see how to play valley and some tips and tricks. So let's get started. I'm just going to fill my dairy. It stopped. I don't have enough milk. Let's collect the cows. And we're going to put more cow feed in there as well. And that's not cool. My cows are hungry and I can't do anything. All right, so I think that is done. Let's harvest some crops first. I've got the new crop, white lilies and some, you know, these are the sesame seeds. So there we go. I got an X, which is cool. Seems like I have a new friend request. Let's see who is there. So that is, um, neat, Neil. Anyways, welcome to my friend's bar and I hope you enjoy being here. So, all right, guys. Now, that's crazy. Why well, there's nothing on the valley? Now, valley is completely optional. You don't have to play it if you don't want to. You can still play your game normally. Um, it won't affect your normal gameplay if you don't play the valley because your farm level and your town level are two different things. So valley was added back in June 2019 and it was one of the major updates ever after the town and the derby. And I can say I was kind of disappointed when the valley was first added because I was expecting it to be much better than this. But by the passage of time, Heide actually improved a lot of things in the valley. Um, and now I can say that I like to play the valley. So what do you have to do in the valley? Your main purpose to do the valley is to collect the tokens. And why should you collect tokens? Well, you can buy a lot of cool things from the tokens. So if you go into the here, that's the valley shop. And valley shop has a lot of cool things. Especially it always has a lot of expansion permits and puzzle pieces. And if, if you need them and maybe um, a cool decoration, but I don't think I have a new decoration. I do have the blueprints, but I'm not going to get them. The second tab over here is your exclusive shop, which unlocks when you collect a certain number of chickens. For example, we need to collect about 100 chickens and we've collected 89 so far, which I'll be showing you guys later in the video if I see any chickens. So these are the things that you can purchase. Um, you got 30 diamonds. You've got a new exclusive decoration of 10 diamonds and you've got three five star boosters, which I think is amazing as well. And here you have your piggy bank, which are some extra tokens that get stored when you play the valley. So the limit of your piggy bank is always 1200 and it will remain full unless you open it. Now, if you want some more information, you can always click on the question mark and read everything from here. All right, so that was for the tokens. Now comes another thing are your daily quests, which is basically an extra opportunity to get more rewards or cool things. So you can see that I've got some mystery boxes there. I've got a lucky bonus. So whenever you complete certain daily quests, you can open mystery boxes and you can play piggy bonus to try your luck and maybe you can get some really cool things. Now, the main thing in the valley is the fuel. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can get the fuel in the valley. Tap on your farm star and go to the sun bar over here. You can see that you have to collect valley sun points. So these are the sun tasks and they daily change after 24 hours. So you can also see what's coming tomorrow. For example, tomorrow I'll have to plant two strawberries, cast one fishing net in the lake and fill the boat crates. But for today, I have to plant sugar canes, feed one sheep and catch four fish. So I think the tomorrow tab is very good in order to prepare for what's coming. So what I'm going to do now, I'm about to plant sugar cans to collect sun points. Let's see how many I do. All right, the valley field has been available. Now why I love valley more now is because of the recent change that we have now that our sun points don't go waste. Even after you've collected enough, for example, 20, they will keep getting stored and you can use them later. The next one is to feed one sheep for two sun points. Let's feed my sheep. What? I don't have enough. That's crazy. Oh my God. I don't, I don't believe it. That's unbelievable. 
can't even do that now. But anyways, if I had the feed, I could have feeded them. But let's go to the fishing area and do some fish. Um, all right, so we need to harvest some duck traps first. Let's do the lobsters, and I'm gonna put some more in there as well. All right, and let's collect them. Just gonna put some more. Now for me, I think Valley is okay. It's not something that I love so much, like town, and it's not something that I hate. So it's in between. I play whenever I want to, whenever I get bored, whenever I have enough time. So that's what you should do. Um, you can play the Valley um, when you have enough time. So Valley is just, you know, it's a kind of distraction in the game when you don't have enough things to do. So it's not a compulsory thing to do. You don't really have to play it if you don't want to. That's what I'm saying again and again, because I know a lot of people complain about the Valley that they don't like it. So it's simple. Just leave it. I mean, I don't like it either, but I do like the prizes that we get and I love the decorations. So that's why I play it. Otherwise, I would just not play it. And for so many days, for like three to four days, I haven't been playing a lot of Valley. That's why my tokens are so low. All right, guys. So I'm catching some fish in order to collect some sun points. And all right. So I got 42 over 20. I'm going to do some fish so that I can, um, you know, collect some sun points. Let's do it. There we go. Ten. All right, guys, I think I have done the fishing and now I'm just going to put some lures and get back to my farm. So if you got, if you guys don't know, currently in the game, we have two kind of valleys, the Chicken Valley and the Sanctuary Valley. My favorite one is actually the Sanctuary Valley. Um, and I've done a video on that. If you guys haven't watched that, you can watch it up right there. Um, in that valley, you have to collect sanctuary animals instead of chickens. And that's kind of good. It's more fun challenging because your animals can run away so and now let's just have a look all right so we are here at the fuel spin and I've got 62 over 20 now so I'm gonna give you guys a tip over here as well if you feel that you are not gonna be able to play Valley or you just are not in the mood don't play Valley it's okay but what you can do is you can complete your Sun tasks in order to collect your Sun points because I think that's a really good opportunity to collect more fuel because later in the future when you get into the mood or you think you have enough time, you can play the valley, you can drive around. Um, and the bad thing is that your truck can be broken. So that's what I hate. And another trick that I've actually found on the fuel spin is that I kind of know how to get nine fuel and how to get six fuel, which I'm not really sure is actually true. But the thing is that whenever I, you know, spin my wheel, with the low speed, like kind of this, I get eight or nine. That's what I found. And I'm not sure if this is true or not. And when I do it with full speed, I get six. And I'm not sure if this is for you guys as well. Like right here, you saw that I got eight because I spin it, you know, with full speed. 
And oh my god, my fuel is total. Um, it's 99. I can't store any more. So what I'm going to do now, I'm about to drive around. Let's pray that my truck does not, you know, break. That would be so hard. But oh my god. So, all right. And that was your fuel for the valley. These are your daily quests. Um, they also change after every 24 hours. So, all right. Now, I'm going to find my truck. Where's my truck? Is that my truck? Yeah, let's just go and drive around. So, boom. What do we have for today? Visit one diner, collect tokens, complete one delivery request. Oh, I hate delivery requests so much. They're so annoying. I just don't want to do them. So, a lot of people actually, you know, make a full map of the valley. And the maps of all the valleys are actually different. No, I'm not going to spend 10 diamonds. That's not cool. All right, guys. So, how to collect a chicken whenever you see a chicken on the road. Just drive on it and it will be automatically collected. So, boom, there we go. I've just collected one chicken. Um, and there's also the time. So, that was like 4 hour and 52 minutes. And we got 19 chickens. That's so cool. Let's just keep driving around and the daily quest completed amazing let's see where else i can go yeah i'm just gonna complete the delivery request there we go another one completed getting close to the piggy bonus so there we go all right that's simple let's go in here and complete the delivery request um the reason why i have a lot of fuel and my tokens are low it's because i've actually purchased one expansion permit over here and also, I've not been playing a lot of Valley, as I told you guys earlier, that I'm just not into the mood. So that's why I've not been playing. But I've decided to play today, so I'm just going to drive around in the Valley. Oh, we just found a roadside surprise. You can find sometimes cream, butter, cheese, sugar, or anything. I think it's really cool. I'm just scared that my truck does not break. All right, the daily quests are completed for, I think, today, and I'm just going to have to wait till tomorrow. So whenever you see the building that is near, go to that building rather than going far away by spending more fuel. Just try to complete all the orders on the buildings because I think that's actually worth it. So we have a delivery request over here. There we go. And wait, where is... Oh, my God, that's... Far away. I hate delivery requests. And that's about three fuel. But anyways, we're just going to go here. And that's going to give me double the tokens. All right, there we go. Now, I was thinking that Hades should give us the valley events. Imagine having valley events during the valley time. What? Complete your existing... Wait, I just completed that. What? That's a five fuel. I'm not going to do... That's crazy. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... No, that's a lot. I was just thinking about, you know, having valley events in which we probably should get double the amount of tokens than usual are kind of like the time gets decreased. Oh my God, I don't have enough olives. Let's get some olives. Always low on the olives. And so we're going to go to the valley and... So we're going to complete this. Boom. Let's no, I'm not going to go there. All right. We're going to come here to this building. And there we go. Let's go in here. Now, I'm going to be purchasing one more expansion permit. Boom, there we go. And my tokens are so, so low now. So let's just keep driving. And let's break. The truck doesn't break. That's one cookie. We can go over here. And you guys can also see your neighbors. Your neighbors will be indicated by the green sign over the truck. Um, you can also race with them. That's actually a plus point. So I don't have corn. That's not cool, not having enough items in your barn or solo. Let's see if I can get corn. Yep, we can. Let's just get this. All right, let's get back to my farm and go to the valley. Now, if you're a low-level player, um, I would recommend you to not play a lot of valley. You should not focus a lot on valley because the valley is time-consuming and I know it all looks at level like 25, 
Um, I think it's it all looks at level 35. I'm not sure now, but anyways, you have to focus more on your farm, your town, and your fishing area because I think that's more important than playing a valley. It's crazy. I'm having a lot of delivery requests today, and I have no idea why. So let's just spin this again and see how many fuels do I get this time. All right, that's seven. Oh, that's six, you know. And it's going to be six again. So that is the secret if you guys don't know. I'm not sure if this is for everybody, but for me, I finally found the secret. If I spin the wheel with full speed, I will get six fuel. But I, if I spin it with low speed, I will get about like nine. And that's true. So this is my secret. And I think it's a really great tip, guys, if you want to get more fuel. So yeah, I'm just so glad that this tip actually works. So we are going to be seeing, all right, eight, last spin. Let's see how many do I get now. I've got enough fuel to drive around. And there we go, that's seven. So I've got 93 and I'm just gonna drive around. And for the collecting of the chickens, you can also complete the delivery requests. And I'm not sure if I have any, no, not the delivery requests, I'm sorry, the complete group orders that can be found usually around. So I'm gonna go over here by spending four fuel. All right, there we go. Let's go to the diner. Complete some more. Let's drive over here. Now I do like the design of the valley that they have made. And these are all the clouds that won't show you the valley part unless you drive around here, you know, unless you get closer to the actual part. And the fuel stations, if you guys don't know, were added in December 2016, I guess. They can help you to get more fuel, extra fuel sometimes by diamonds, or maybe sometimes if you're lucky, you can get for free. But when they're diamonds, do not use them. And there's actually a trick on the fuel station. For example, um, I was getting like, I think I was getting five fuel for six diamonds now if i haven't waited a long time i'm gonna get five fuel for one diamond so that's so cool no 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 i'm not gonna do delivery requests i hate them so much what was that my truck didn't come and you can see my neighbor is over here as well so we are gonna go over here and i'm enjoying my driving Oh man, not cool. Don't have enough sugar cans. Oh, uh, what's going on? Let's get back to my farm. So there are 50 sun points, then 100, 200, 500,000, 2,000, 3,000, and they keep increasing. Now I do love this poster on the valley board and the valley is actually here at the, the left corner of the game. So that was it for the valley. And I think I've told you guys all the important things that you need to know about the valley. So you can see over here, someone's truck is broken. When you see a broken truck, just drive past by it and help them. You can get tokens or more things. Now to sum up my videos, valley is an additional area added into the game, which was added in June, 2019, just like town and fishing area that helps player to gain more items from the valley shop by collecting tokens so you have to complete the orders complete the requests just like your town visitors but in here instead of coins and diamonds you will get tokens and you can use those tokens to get some really cool items from the valley shop and the main thing of the valley is the valley fuel which depends on sun tasks some sun tasks can be easy some can be difficult for example um the casting of fishing net in the lake i think it's it's hard for me technically it's not hard but i think the boat ones are hard because the boat comes every four hours and it's not cool so do i like the valley or not 
Mm, I think I don't like it, but I don't hate it either. So I'm in between, as I said. I like it sometimes, I don't like it sometimes. So yeah, that's it. I do play it though. I do try my best to get the decorations because I think the valley decorations are really, really great. And there are different seasons of the valley which come after some time. This is currently the valley season 9. And when it will end after 10 days, then we will have to wait for like 10 more days till the next season comes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe.